Okay. Well, the reunion, the Three of Cups, the reunion card, right in the center of your reading. Um, this is about a reunion, and it's a happy one. So this is what you're hoping for. This is what the reading's all about. I mean, it just so happened to show up as an overall energy of your reading. So let's read on, find out why this happy reunion surrounds your entire reading. Up here in your highest energy, I have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is feeling bound by this hope. It's a hope of reunion. And you haven't moved forward. You haven't moved any direction, really. There's a lot of truth and clarity all around you. But you just haven't taken off the blindfold. You haven't removed any bandages. You can walk. You can talk. But um, your highest energy is you're kind of stuck and hoping for them to come back. And there's a lot of truth and clarity that um, really you haven't been able to see yet. Right next to the Eight of Swords is the Eight of Pentacles. You want to work. You want to build on this relationship. You want them to return to you and want to work on this relationship to build um, pentacles, to build security, stability, groundedness, and possibly a committed future. You're willing to, but are they? Hmm. I have the Ace of Wands right next to the Eight of Pentacles. So the Ace of Wands, this is about that beautiful, fresh start, new beginning that you're hoping for uh, with this person. Now, you really might have a reunion, but I still need to look at their energies. I know that you want this reunion, and you are ready to move forward. Um, the Ace of Wands is just blooming and blossoming, fresh starts, new beginnings. That's your whole energy on your on your top line here. Now I have, I'm reading these cards in your energy, the center cards. You're confused. Um, this is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is confusion and love. There's something in every single one of those cups. And they're all yelling, pick me, pick me. You've probably chosen the wrong cups before and it's falling apart because there's something else that gets in the way. It's always something else that gets in the way. And so, you know, something else might have gotten in the way of this relationship. And, you know, you don't really see the truth. You don't know the truth of why you're not together now. You're confused. You're confused about your feelings. You're confused about their feelings. You're wondering if you're reading too much into this relationship to begin with. And you're also wondering... You know, if they really did love you. And that's right next to the Happy Reunion card, the Three of Cups. Again, the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is right next to the world. That's a new life cycle. This is, you know, right under the Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh. You are so ready to move into a new life cycle with your love that you want to return to you. Um, I feel like there is a new life cycle waiting for you. I'm hoping they're in it. Let's see what's going on in their minds. So, down here, their highest energy is the Eight of Cups. Who walked away? Uh, this is what's on their mind the most. It's the, it's the turning the back on the love. I, I don't know which one walked away. They might have. I, they might have been the, the one that walked away from this relationship. And they know it. They had confusion in love. This is one of the reasons they walked. You're wondering why they walked? They were confused about their own feelings. So, you know, they didn't know any other way to deal with this except to walk away. They have been seeking advice from the universe about their path forward because they are on a new path right now. Uh, they did turn their back on the love in this relationship. So the Hermit is a card for Virgo. So Virgo might be strong in someone's chart or around this reading. But also it's about spending time alone. Um, it's very spiritual. It's about seeking your path forward. And it is about whether or not to have a reunion with you. So they do think about you. They are thinking about having a reunion with you. And they still think about them leaving you behind. They might have regrets. Well, the hermit here is shining the lantern right on, right on to turning the back on love. 
I think that they know that um, they might have turned their back on a good thing. And so the hermit is really kind of pointing out, hey, look, you did this. You walked away. Um, and now you're trying to seek your path forward. I feel like they're, I feel like that they're kind of a, a lost soul right now, that they, they really can't decide what direction that they want to go in. I have the Seven of Swords next to the Hermit. It's also under the World card, the brand new life cycle. I think they're coming out of some sort of energy here. Um, because they're also entering a life cycle. Now, whether it's with you or not, not quite sure yet. I have a whole half of this reading to go. But, um, you know, I think they were hiding something. I think they were being deceitful. I Either that or they, it, it could have been a rumor about you is why they left. You know, that too with this card. But um, this is deceitful behavior, and it influenced this um, walking away here. But the thing is, is a new life cycle is coming in, and it's like it's almost like this is non-existent anymore. It's like this doesn't matter anymore since I walked away. But it had something to do with the walking away. Hmm. Let's keep reading. Let's take out the second part of this reading, Libras. Will my love return to me? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. Ten of Cups is up in your highest energy. This is, this is what you want. This is that fresh start, new beginning that you really, really, really want with your love. You want them to return and offer union, offer love. Ten Cups of sunshine, rainbow, love. This is a family situation. This it's 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 a committed relationship. You're willing to to build on it for sure. This is one of the best cards in the whole tarot deck, that 10 of cups. And being next to the ace of wands at fresh start and new beginning. I think you're actually been praying. I think you've been meditating, praying, soul searching um for your answers. There's all those swords Remember, it started with the Eight of Swords. You not being able to see all the truth around what has happened here in this relationship. So you've been seeking some guidance from the universe, some clarity, some truth. And I think it's kind of getting, it's coming to you. But you spend a lot of time up in your head. It's like two cards right next to each other. Time alone, time alone, swords. Look at all the swords that you weren't seeing before. They're coming to you. And these thoughts, they're just going through your mind and going through your mind over and over with this nine of swords. And then you find yourself praying and meditating for another chance. You just want another chance with them. So under the ten of cups, I have the two of wands. I'm reading this card in your energy, the two of wands, right next to the, new, the world. Let me show you that. So the, in the two of wands, you're actually hanging on to the new life cycle right here. And here's and it's right next to the new life cycle, the world. It's There is a new life cycle coming in for you. You're holding on to a wand, a fresh starts, new beginnings. And you're all with one hand and you have the world in the other hand. But this is you alone. And you're contemplating, dreaming. You're looking out over the world. And you're wondering, what could life be like if they would return to me? Are they still out there? Are they thinking about me? Do they want a new life with me? So next to the Two of Wands is the Six of Wands. This is a card of success in love. All these wands coming up in the background are about people who celebrate your success, seeing you as a couple with somebody. So you might have been a couple before all this happened. Um... This wreath here is for um, engagement. You might have even been engaged or an engagement might be coming in. But this is definitely success and love right here. And this is right under the card, the Four of Swords, seeking that um, clarity, the truth, and the guidance from the universe. This is also a very deep healing card that's in your highest energy. So a lot of healing that you've been going through. A lot of being up in your head. A lot of thinking that you could have done things differently somehow. Um, and so next to the Six of Wands right here is the Five of Cups. 
Now, this is a card about disappointment and love. Your head is hanging low over this. Look, three cups filled. Three cups coming in as a reunion. But I call this the card of hope. Because with the card of hope, I have two full cups right behind this figure. And, and just turning around, you will see the hope. And it's right next to the six of wands. And that is definitely hope and love. There's a lot of hope in love and a lot of hope in a reunion going on here in this reading. So now when I'm down in their energies, next to the seven of swords, um, I have the three of swords. Now, they, I, I feel like they thought you were being deceitful now. I really do. Uh, I feel like their heart was hurt. Uh, over something they either heard or something that actually happened. And um, they're trying to deal with it. It caused them a lot of sadness. These swords are truth and clarity that actually pierce the heart. And all that looks like rain. Those are tears. So um, it's right under the two of wands. So they're also standing there. They're also con contemplating... You know, what their future is going to look like, how they should move forward. But remember, um, they are, they have you on their mind. And they've reached out to the universe here. And they are thinking about coming back and starting, trying to start over. Um, I think some things went unsaid that needed to be said. I think there's some, you know, I, I think whatever happened here, I don't think they really talked about it. They just kind of walked away from it. I have the Five of Pentacles next to the Three of Swords. So the Five of Pentacles, this is about them feeling left out in the cold, about them feeling lonely. It's a very spiritual card. See the stained glass windows. But, um, yeah, this is a feeling of being reject, feeling of rejection from you. So um, this is right below the Six of Wands in their energy. I think you were seen as a couple or starting to be seen as a couple. Um, they have not forgotten about you. I think they need time to heal. I think they need time. So you're healing over this. They, I think they needed time to heal and sort through their thoughts. And remember in the beginning, they're like, you know, what do I do? I'm thinking about a reunion with my Libra. And um, this walking away, I think it was them that walked away because they thought, you know, something happened here. Either you actually did do something deceitful or they heard something that could have been deceitful or hurtful to them. And um, they just took it to heart. And then I have this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups is right below the Five of Cups. It's right next to the Five of Pentacles. Well, look at what we got here. Um, they're turning around. They're going to pick up one of those full cups of love in that five of cups. And they're, they are going to come back. This is a sincere love offer that they're coming in with. They don't like being alone. They feel left out in the cold. They're, they're like, they feel like they're missing you. I think they're really missing you. And um, I think they're coming back in. And they're gonna, it's going to be a happy reunion because this is what you really want. And you will be entering a new life cycle here. A fresh start, new beginning. Uh, there's going to be a lot of love. And I think there was a lot of love before. So whatever happened, um, they are coming to terms with. And they're getting over it. Let me take out one more card. I'm going to take out a card from the Arcanum deck. I'm just going to take out one card from the Arcanum deck. For clarity, it goes between the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. If it comes out on its own, that's your card. If not, I will pull it. There it is. The Devil. Mm. And this is where this lands, the Devil. This is the card for uh, Capricorn. So Capricorn might be strong in your chart, their chart, or around this reading. The Devil. Look at that. Well, this is about toxic energy. There was toxic energy. And it was, I think, associated with you, it feels like. I, at least they think so, okay? Um, this can be a third party. So I have the three of swords. 
and I have the devil. So this is kind of signifies or might have been a third party. If not, it was a third something or another. Okay. So the devil here, because see, there are two people here. Sometimes it's hard to see in these cards. There's one, there's a devil, two, three. It's like bondage. It's like being tied to someone through someone else. This is what came between you two. Now, I'm, I'm, I really kind of feel like this is more of a rumor than anything. I feel kind of like they heard something that they never really talked to you about. And they just let it hurt them without coming forward about it. So, um, your fresh start and your new beginning uh, is going to be without this devil energy. Um, they are coming back. And I think that you will have that fresh start and new beginning. I think things are going to be all cleared up about what went down, why they walked away, and um, I just see you moving forward, and I see you moving forward into a whole new life cycle uh, away from this separation.